Hey everybody, I put together this Maverick Boresight tutorial because Maverick Boresighting is a little tricky, honestly, and it's a really common question that comes up uh, a lot of different forums, uh, Discord channels. Uh, how do I Boresight Mavericks properly? The training manual goes through the process, but it's not always super clear um, and it doesn't have a really good checklist. Uh, and it's also missing a couple tweaks that uh, I like to throw in there that make the process a little more simple. So uh, we're going to show you today how I do this. Uh, make sure we don't get any uh, handoff failures, right? Let you go through the process really quickly, uh, bounce through each station, boresight everything, and get back, um, uh, back on your flight plan. So to set up here, you'll see that I have, uh, I'm in air to ground mode, and I have MFD set up with uh, FCR, SMS page, and weapon page on the left side, the TGP and the HSD on the right side. Uh, this is important uh, because you will need to reference two of these MFDs at a time. Um, you do want to make sure you have them in, in this order or swapped, right? They can be uh, opposite left and right. It's perfectly fine. Uh, so step one is I want to move my master arm to sim. If you do not have that, you cannot pop the cover off the Maverick. Uh, you look over and you'll see a nice little cover on the Maverick Seeker there. Um, <clears throat> you need to be able to pop that off to be able to use the Maverick Seeker, um, and that only works if the master arm switch is in the on or the simulate position. Um, so now that I've done that, uh, I've already warmed up my Mavericks. See power on, and there's uh, I, I don't have the no timed out message anymore. Go back to my FCR, and I've got it set for 20 miles. Yeah, 20 miles is pretty good. You uh, any more than that, you're not going to be able to see anything with a Maverick Seeker. Uh, any less than that, you're not going to be able to see far enough. Um, you'll also notice my cursor is all the way up at my next selected steer point. Uh, by default, you can see over the HSD, you can actually see there's my cursor. Cursor zero there. Um, what I actually want to do is put this in snowplow mode because I need to find something that's in front of me. I don't really care where the steer point is. Okay. There's snowplow mode that'll center the SPI. And if I TMS up, I can now move the cursor again. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to go find a nice juicy target here. Um, preferably something between, yeah, oh well, between 10 and 20 miles. Um, or Look over here, swap over to the TGP. Hey, there's a nice little city there. Perfect. Switch over to the TGP and find something preferably on the edge of that city. Okay. So um, if you select something here, it's really tough to tell the Maverick where you want to point it, um, you know, which building you're pointing at, because the Maverick doesn't have the same resolution the TGP does. So if you pick something off to the side, it's really easy to pick it up with a Mav Seeker and say, yeah, that's the building on the far right. So let's lock that up. There's our point track. Okay. And you notice I don't have the weapon page selected yet. Okay. So it's not going to try to hand off to the Maverick Seeker until I pull that up. Um, okay. So let's switch over to weapon page. I've got station three selected, um, but you'll see the black screen because I still have the cover on the Maverick. Okay, so let's switch SOI, and I'm going to uncage, pop that cover off. Okay, there's the cover. And it's pointed in the rough direction that the uh, SPI is, but obviously there's that little bit of offset because my TGP is somewhere around there, and my Maverick's way over there. So we're going to correct that by bore sighting. I'm going to pinky switch, zoom in, always use the narrow field of view. Okay, I'm going to find that building on the far right, and I'm going to TMS up. You see it gives me that little boresight indication. It's not really locked, but it's pointed in the right direction, um, which is perfectly fine. Okay, I hit the boresight, that OSB 20, okay, and it'll flash. All right, flashes just like that, and that aligns it. Then I can missile step, uncage again, pinky switch. MS up, okay, and foresight again, and repeat for as many stations as you have. You only have to do it once for station. Uh, so if you have like triple ejector racks, you only have to do it for one of those. Um, it foresights that entire station. Uncage and foresight. Okay, and I do want to go back through and make sure I. 
TMS down and cancel all these locks. And there we go. Everything's bore sighted. I can go back, make sure to turn my power off so I can transit in and not burn up all my MAV time. And unlock on the TGP. And we're good to go. And give me just a second. I will, through the magic of video, show you how to do this in flight. Welcome back. So doing everything while the sim is frozen is all well and good for practice, but it doesn't really help you when you're flying around in multiplayer and you can't freeze anything. So you gotta be able to do this. You gotta practice being able to do it uh, live. Fly around, find a target, lock it up, bore sight everything, switch everything back off and get back on your course. So that's what I'm gonna show you. So you'll notice I already have my MFD set up. All right, I've got the FCR, uh, SMS, weapon, HSD, all right, and TGP up. All right, I also have the Mavericks powered on. Show you how this works. Unfreeze. Okay, right, we're gonna go into snowplow mode. And let's come down to 20 miles and see what I can find. All right, there's a group there. Let's see what that, oh, perfect. What does that look like? Okay, there's my lock, weapon page. On cage, zoom in. We're gonna get locked at the same point, perfect. Or sight. And there we go. And make sure to turn the power off. And cancel snowplow. And now we're back on the way. Okay, so I'd recommend practicing that a lot. The uh, It's a lot of switchology. you got to be really good with the controls. Um, I will post a small checklist as well, which I believe is mirrored in the Falcon Lounge. Uh, and you can use that as a reference while you're practicing. Thanks for watching, and everybody have a good day.